Big wind planning about to get bigger in Kahuku, and the developers there trying to ease some fears. The controversial new project hopes to get off the ground soon. KITV Force Catherine Cruz has more on an upcoming community meeting. It's all part of our continuing coverage. Kahuku resident Abita Kaili was out enjoying the day at Malaikahana State Park. He's heard about Napua Makani's upcoming community meeting and plans to be there. I've read the EIS, the draft EIS, so I have a lot of questions that I will be asking. From the highway fronting the beach park, Napua Makani says you'll be able to see the tops of five of the planned windmills, much like the first wind project in place now. The pushback from the Kahuku community has come as a result of the turbines that loom above the rural community. Too much visual blight, too close to the road, and too close to Kahuku town. The original proposal did have it really close to the school and homes, but the developer listened to the community when he met with them last year, and as a result, remapped and redid everything and moved them as far back as he possibly could. Nepal Makani has revamped the design six times and cannot go back any further because of restrictions in place by the military, which owns land around the 700 acre parcel where the wind farm will stand. The closest homes will be those on the state's agricultural park up on the hillside. The company says the turbines, along with the meteorology towers, will be able to coexist with current ag uses and are not expected to displace any farmers. The power produced by the 25 megawatt facility will help feed Hawaiian Electric's grid from a different direction than the first wind project. The energy that they produce goes towards Haleiwa. The energy that our project will produce will then feed towards Kaneohe to their substation. So the residents of Kauku, Laie, Haula will then be able to use the electricity that we generate. But some residents like Ka'ili who support green energy still have reservations about whether the 500-foot tower with their giant blades are a good idea. Ka'ili says advancement with bladeless wind turbines that would be less detrimental to native birds and bats are what he would throw his support behind. We think it's, it's good that we should wait for this technology um, instead of putting out these uh, technologies that are outdated and uh, we're going to be stuck with it for 21 years. The developer hopes to win over the community, hosting an open house meeting next week. But those opposed to the project are already planning a protest. Residents are reading their signs, hoping to get the wind blowing in their direction. In Kahuku, Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News. And that open meeting will be held next week, Tuesday, at the Kahuku Community Center. It starts at 6 o'clock.